hi guys it's Busa. welcome back to the channel welcome if you're new um so for today's video we're starting off with like my admitted hair i laughed at myself because i feel like every time i take off my bonnet i come looking like this to you guys uh, my hair was dry it was itchy it's been two weeks since i washed it so jumping right in i went in with the anti jackies power wash um i like this shampoo because one it had aloe vera juice which is very good for moisturizing and two it had apple cider vinegar which helps to fight dandruff so this is the consistency of the shampoo and i just applied that directly to my scalp now normally i will wash my hair in sections not today because i was going for a wash and go and also just a side note this is a very buildable shampoo it's very clarifying but not stripping so the more you apply to your hair um the more times you apply it to your hair the more intense the clarification will be if that makes any sense i also like this shampoo because i was able to detangle my hair with it um and then i followed that up with a deep conditioner this is one of my favorite deep conditioners um i would rate it among my top five i like how my hair feels after i've put it on this is its consistency it's quite thick it's not the greatest for sleep or detangling but i just put that on my hair and then give it a while to do whatever it's supposed to do and then i rinse it out and my hair feels like soft and pillow like now because i like to deep condition in sections i had sectioned off my hair and every part that i was done applying my deep conditioner i would burn to note that away and this is what my hair looked like when i was done i followed that up with this shark cup that my friend connie got me because she thinks i'm a diva i guess I let the deep conditioner sit on my hair for 30 minutes. The tin actually says 10 to 15 minutes, but I like to do 30 and more. And this is me back right after rinsing it. So I recently had an Instagram poll where I asked you guys which of the two gels I should use. They're both by Auntie Jackie's. And 62% of you voted for the elongating flaxseed gel or something which is what i'll be using for this video if you don't follow me on instagram i think you should because we do catch up around there um in combination with the gel i'll also be using this note on my watch detangler it is also a moisturizing product so for my hair i decided to section off the front because i put that in flat twists i didn't feel like wearing a full wash and go that's something you're interested in seeing let me know and your girl will get to it um so what i did was work in small sections if you do have thick hair you know that working in small sections is your best friend um so i just kept on taking off sections that i was comfortable with and at this point my hair was damp a little more than damp because i had just walked out of the shower but for my wash and goes or for people whose wash and goes i do because i don't wear them often i like my hair to be soaking wet so i went in with my spray bottle and sprayed as much water as i could and then i followed that up with some product i went in with a detangler first because to get the perfect wash and go you need your hair to be thoroughly detangled so that the curls can be defined to their maximum um i just applied that to my hair gently run my fingers through detangle it a bit and then apply my gel now um in this video you'll see me making lots of faces because i haven't applied gel to my hair for a year so this felt strange but one thing i will say about the gel is i liked it somehow um when i applied it to my hair my hair didn't feel stripped my hair didn't feel dry it was also something that i could detangle with just to get more definition with my curls and i applied that while detangling um i tried to do the shingling method but for me and my hair that's not a thing because look at this like that's just my hair on a regular day so when i figured that that wasn't going to work for me um i decided to just trick my fingers through the hair as though i was detangling it and then combine that with the praying hands method because <laughs> i didn't know what i was doing at this point like every time i do wash and goes i feel like my curls don't come out to the best 
but um everyone around me keeps saying you're fussing about it your hair is defined but you know this is a very fussy wash and go actually this is what we're going to call this video um so with the praying hand method you just put your hands together and run them down the length of your hair as though you are praying you know like the praying hand emoji yeah that kind of thing it's what we're going for so i did that and i felt like this gave me better definition than all the other methods but i still combine like the raking your fingers through your hair and the praying hand method and i feel like for me and my hair that's what works best now keep in mind that everybody's hair is different when i do my mom's hair i'll insert a video of me doing her wash and go somewhere above um i do the shingling method and her hair is much more defined than mine was but like i said um everybody's hair is different i also feel like you can train your hair to do wash and goes um i might try it i don't know I'm just not so sure about this whole thing yet anyway because i wasn't sure um i just decided to go ahead and do the same thing all through my hair apply the detangler detangle the hair a bit and follow that up with some gel um to get the best definition that i could with what i had Um, so the looser your curl pattern is the more defined the style will look um, but definitely if you're fussy you might get away with a bit of wash and go than i did keep in mind as always everybody's hair is different and it's not good to let other people's hair define yours like it's okay to appreciate and admire their hair but love you and love your hair and you eventually will get to where you want it to be also guys when it comes to wash and goes i think if i do a wash and go again i'll do it pretty early in the morning because my hair did not dry on this day i had to apply a dryer and it still wasn't dry and i don't have a hooded dryer so i used a hand dryer and that was a whole other story but um given the thickness and density of my hair i don't think doing this at maybe 4 to 6 p.m was a wise decision because i knew that my hair takes forever and a day to dry but um i'm a lazy natural that's not new you all know that i gazing far into the night i raise my hand to the fire but it's no use because you can't stop it from shining through it's true baby let the light shine through if you believe it's true so this is the vibe that the curls were giving us um i think i'm going to take this moment to talk about the products that i used on a scale of one to ten i'll drink the detangler 10 out of 10 my only issue with it is it has olive oil and at the moment i'm not a big fan of olive oil because i think for me um it stimulates dandruff and that's not the kind of thing i need but i used it because i know it's a great detangler and i couldn't find anything else on the shelf um when it comes to the gel hmm i like the gel i feel like um when i applied the gel to my hair my hair did not feel weighed down my hair was not feeling dry my hair was not feeling crunchy my only issue with it was the next day when i went out and the gel actually dried guys this gel flakes like no man's business um i think it actually flicked a little more than eco styler the only advantage it has over eco styler to me is that it was a lot much cheaper i think maybe seven thousand shillings cheaper and yeah hashtag saving those coins because they're all going to flake anyway um when it comes to elongating i don't think it did that for me it just felt like a regular schmegula gel that works and did not do anything elongating for my hair um so this was us all done my hair felt soft to the touch we were not feeling weighed down but we were full of product and it was about five hours or six before we went to bed and we were not going to dry we kind of knew this but um we were living in denial so yeah 
I was also quite generous with the gel just because I thought that would give me better definition and I used maybe half the tin and when I went outside in the sun this is the vibe that we were getting I think this looks pretty cute if I didn't touch it I feel like I could have been an African for sea goddess the next day um, so this is the next day I got my bonnet from kinky glory check it out on Instagram they have some really high quality products um and to sleep at night i just put my hair into puffs and then threw my bonnet on and went to bed i actually did blow dry it just because i didn't want to sleep with soaking wet hair and i think that messed up like the curls my mom said that it was still defined i don't think it was let me know down below what you think about this style um and to also refresh the curls i went in with this oil it's not stranger here i applied that generously to my hair and just decided to part it or give it some life i don't know what that was but yeah i just touched my hair because that's what you do when you have a wash and go um so yeah this is how we are looking but uh I decided to add some gold cuffs so that you know to just jazz this up a bit because <laughs> i wasn't feeling it and that's pretty much it guys let me know down below how you treat this style don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already like this video if you found it helpful love and blessings see you in the next one